Introduction Greetings and welcome to this video on the investing methods of Warren Buffett. In this video, we will explore the investment philosophy of one of the most successful investors of our time and learn some valuable lessons that we can apply to our own investment strategies. Warren Buffett is a household name in the world of investing. He is the CEO of Berkshire Hathaway, a holding company that owns a diverse range of businesses, including insurance, energy, and manufacturing. With a net worth of over $100 billion, Warren Buffett is consistently ranked among the richest people in the world. One of the most impressive things about Warren Buffett's success as an investor is that he did not achieve it by following the crowd or relying on complex algorithms. Instead, he developed a simple and straightforward investment philosophy based on value investing, a concept pioneered by Benjamin Graham, his mentor and professor at Columbia University. Value investing involves identifying companies that are undervalued by the market, meaning that their stock price is lower than their intrinsic value. In other words, value investors like Warren Buffett look for stocks that are on sale and have the potential to increase in value over time. But value investing is just one part of Warren Buffett's investing philosophy. He also emphasizes the importance of having a margin of safety, which means investing in companies that have a strong financial position and are less likely to go bankrupt or lose value. Additionally, Warren Buffett takes a long-term approach to investing and focuses on buying stocks in companies that he believes will perform well over a period of several years, rather than trying to make quick profits in the short term. Background on Warren Buffett Warren Buffett was born in 1930 in Omaha, Nebraska. His father was a stockbroker, and Warren Buffett became interested in investing from an early age. As a teenager, he read every book he could find on investing and spent hours studying the financial pages of newspapers. After high school, Warren Buffett attended the University of Nebraska, where he earned a degree in business. He then went on to study at Columbia University, where he was mentored by Benjamin Graham, a well-known value investor. After completing his studies, Warren Buffett returned to Omaha and started his own investment partnership. He used the principles of value investing that he had learned from Benjamin Graham to identify undervalued companies and achieve impressive returns for his investors. In 1965, Warren Buffett acquired a textile manufacturing company called Berkshire Hathaway. Although the company was struggling at the time, Warren Buffett saw potential in its assets and its management team. He used the profits from Berkshire Hathaway's textile business to invest in other companies, and over time, he transformed the company into a holding company that owns a diverse range of businesses. Today, Berkshire Hathaway is one of the largest and most successful companies in the world, with a market capitalization of over $600 billion. Warren Buffett remains the company's CEO and continues to use his value investing principles to guide his investment decisions. Over the course of his career, Warren Buffett has made many successful investments in companies such as Coca-Cola, American Express, and Wells Fargo. He is also known for his philanthropy, having pledged to give away the majority of his wealth to charitable causes. Warren Buffett's success as an investor has earned him many accolades and honors. He has been named one of the most influential people in the world by Time Magazine and Forbes, and he is often referred to as the Oracle of Omaha, due to his investment prowess. Value Investing Value investing is a concept that was first introduced by Benjamin Graham, a professor of finance at Columbia University, and Warren Buffett's mentor. The basic idea behind value investing is to identify companies that are undervalued by the market, meaning that their stock price is lower than their intrinsic value. In other words, value investors like Warren Buffett look for stocks that are on sale and have the potential to increase in value over time. To identify undervalued companies, Value investors use a variety of financial ratios and metrics to analyze a company's financial statements. One of the most important metrics used in value investing is the price-to-earnings (P.E.) ratio, which measures the price of a company's stock relative to its earnings per share. A low P.E. ratio indicates that a company's stock is undervalued by the market, while a high P.E. ratio indicates that the stock is overvalued. In addition to analyzing financial ratios, Value investors also look at a company's business model, industry trends, and competitive advantages to determine its intrinsic value. Warren Buffett is known for his focus on companies that have a strong brand, a loyal customer base, and a competitive advantage over their competitors. One of the key benefits of value investing is that it can help investors avoid the pitfalls of the stock market. By focusing on companies that are undervalued, investors can reduce their risk of buying stocks that are overvalued and at risk of declining in value. 
Value investing also allows investors to take a long-term approach to investing, as undervalued companies typically take some time to realize their full potential. Warren Buffett has been a longtime proponent of value investing and has used this approach to achieve remarkable success as an investor. Some of the companies that Warren Buffett has invested in based on their value include Coca-Cola, American Express, and Wells Fargo. In summary, value investing is a time-tested investment approach that has been proven to be successful by Warren Buffett and other notable investors. By focusing on companies that are undervalued by the market and have the potential to increase in value over time, value investors can reduce their risk and achieve impressive returns on their investments. Margin of Safety Margin of safety is a concept that was first introduced by Benjamin Graham, and it has become a cornerstone of value investing. The basic idea behind margin of safety is to invest in companies that have a significant buffer between their stock price and their intrinsic value. This buffer, or margin of safety, provides a cushion against the risk of the company's stock declining in value, and helps investors avoid significant losses. To calculate the margin of safety, investors typically use a range of valuation techniques, including discounted cash flow analysis, price-to-earnings ratios, and other fundamental analysis tools. These tools help investors estimate a company's intrinsic value and compare it to the company's current stock price. If the intrinsic value is significantly higher than the stock price, then the investor can determine the margin of safety. Warren Buffett is known for his strict adherence to the margin of safety principle. He believes that investors should only invest in companies that have a significant margin of safety, and that the greater the margin of safety, the lower the risk of losing money. Warren Buffett has famously said that, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. The margin of safety principle has helped Warren Buffett avoid many of the pitfalls of the stock market. By only investing in companies with a significant margin of safety, he has been able to avoid overvalued stocks and companies with high levels of debt. This approach has helped him achieve impressive returns for his investors over the long term. In summary, the margin of safety principle is a key component of value investing and a cornerstone of Warren Buffett's investment philosophy. By investing in companies with a significant buffer between their intrinsic value and their stock price, investors can reduce their risk of losing money and achieve impressive returns over the long term. Long-term investing Long-term investing is a key component of Warren Buffett's investment philosophy. He believes that the best way to achieve significant returns in the stock market is to invest in companies that have a strong business model and a competitive advantage, and to hold those investments for the long term. By taking a patient and disciplined approach to investing, Warren Buffett has been able to achieve remarkable success as an investor. One of the benefits of long-term investing is that it allows investors to ride out the ups and downs of the stock market. Over the short term, the stock market can be volatile, with sudden swings in stock prices that can cause anxiety for investors. However, over the long term, the stock market tends to grow at a steady pace, and investing in strong companies can provide impressive returns over time. Warren Buffett is known for his long-term approach to investing, and he has held many of his investments for decades. For example, he has held shares of Coca-Cola since the 1980s, and shares of American Express since the 1960s. This approach has allowed him to benefit from the long-term growth of these companies and has helped him achieve impressive returns for his investors. In addition to holding investments for the long term, Warren Buffett also focuses on investing in companies that have a strong business model and a competitive advantage. He believes that companies with these qualities are more likely to succeed over the long term and provide strong returns for investors. By investing in these types of companies and holding them for the long term, Warren Buffett has been able to achieve significant success as an investor. Another benefit of long-term investing is that it can help reduce trading costs and taxes. By holding investments for the long term, investors can avoid the costs associated with buying and selling stocks frequently. Additionally, long-term capital gains taxes are generally lower than short-term capital gains taxes, so investors who hold their investments for the long term may pay less in taxes. In summary, Long-term investing is a key component of Warren Buffett's investment philosophy. By investing in companies with a strong business model and a competitive advantage, and holding those investments for the long term, investors can benefit from the steady growth of the stock market and achieve impressive returns over time. By taking a patient and disciplined approach to investing, investors can avoid the pitfalls of the stock market and achieve long-term success. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions or would like to learn more, be sure to leave a comment below. And as always, happy investing.